All right, viewers, we're starting with the top developments coming in from the Israel-Hamas war. After days of fighting, United States has signaled that a deal on hostage release is now getting closer. However, it also acknowledges that there is still a lot to be done in this regard. Now, I know this is of great interest to all of you. Um, uh, I just want to let you know we're still working this hour by hour. I do not have an update for you on the hostage uh, uh, deal that we're trying to negotiate. Uh, but as you heard the Deputy National Security Advisor say yesterday, uh, we believe we're closer than we've ever been. So we're hopeful. Uh, but, uh, but there's still work to be done. Um, uh, and nothing is done until it's all done. So uh, we're, we're going to keep working on this. Now, fighting continues amid the diplomatic efforts and explosions continue to pound Gaza. Many have been allegedly killed, including children, during a strike in southern Gaza's Khan Yunis city, while homes have been destroyed. Israeli strikes have also hit Rafah in southern Gaza. Visuals on your screens show the devastation in the aftermath of the attack. Take a look at this. Meanwhile, a field hospital sent by Jordan has entered Gaza, and this is the first field hospital to enter the enclave amid the war. The field hospital has a 41-bed capacity, and as per Jordanian officials, it is accompanied by over 180 personnel and 40 trucks of medical aid. 100 patients have been evacuated from Gaza's Indonesian hospital as per Hamas. Hamas says the evacuation took place with the help of Red Cross just hours after it was hit by a deadly Israeli strike. 28 premature babies were also evacuated from the Indonesian hospital and have now arrived in Egypt as per Hamas. On the other hand, Israeli army has released a video showing its soldiers assisting in the evacuation of premature babies from the Al-Shifa hospital to Egypt. And as per the World Health Organization, primary health care situation in Gaza is catastrophic and is now on the brink of complete collapse. We are seeing a complete collapse of the of the higher level infrastructure of the Gazan health system. It is just the most basic of needs that can be met now. And remember, there has been no water, no electricity, almost no fuel um, uh, provided for those and, and, and very limited medical supplies going in. These hospitals have not had access to the basic things they need to provide healthcare services. Meanwhile, Israel's South, first responders have released a security camera footage from the 7th of October. The footage shows Hamas gunmen chasing people from an outdoor music festival with one scene executing a woman at point-blank range. The woman has not been identified. Fighting also continues on other fronts as the Israeli army released images of what it says shows Israeli fighter jet strikes on Hezbollah operational command centers and infrastructure. Now this it says in response to rocket launches from Lebanon into Israel. Yemen's Houthis have released a video footage now showing armed men dropping from a helicopter and seizing a cargo ship in the southern Red Sea. Now, the video has been released just a day after the ship was actually hijacked by the Iran-backed group, the Houthis, who said that the ship was linked to Israel. 
Israel, however, says that the seized ship was British-owned and Japanese-operated and there were no Israelis on board. In other updates, Israel's foreign ministry has said that it has recalled its ambassador from South Africa. Israel says that the decision has been taken following the latest South African statements and the envoy has been recalled for consultations. Now, earlier on Monday, a South African government minister called on the International Criminal Court to issue an arrest warrant for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And now this contention comes ahead of an extraordinary BRIC summit on Gaza, which is set to be hosted by South Africa on Tuesday. Leaders from the newly included members, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Iran and the United Arab Emirates will also attend the meeting. But they take the money they receive from the world.